Making it a part two video, guys. That way it's not so long. I'll watch one at a time, you know? Okay, so we did the Arm Outcast 6SBLX, got 56 miles per hour. The Slash 4x4 VXL Ford Raptor we got uh, 51 for a top. Um, so now we got the Arma, uh, I'm sorry, the TRMT AE BE 6S, and of course the Trax Emax. And I'll do a quick one on the low C DBXL. All right, so let's hit it with the BE 6S. <laughs> Ice cream for ice cream. Here we go. Just a warm up pass. We got thirty three miles an hour. Let's hit it again. All right, here we go. Now keep in mind, the BE6S only has an 11 tooth pinion in it. Here we go. Guys, that was full throttle right there. Those tires were pizza cutters. Alright guys, exactly what I expected it to be. We got 46 miles per hour in the left bottom corner. Uh, that's six, I'm sorry, 10 miles an hour slower than the Armour Outcast 6S BLX. Alright, so let's go ahead and put in the... Uh, uh, plug in the Trax Z-Max. Let's try and see what we can get for a speed run on that beast. Okay, GPS is all zeroed out on the Trax Z-Max brushless edition. Running 6S. Let's hit it, guys. Let's see how we did on that warm up pass. Alright, warm up pass, we got 43 miles an hour. Bottom left corner. Let's do full throttle now, guys. I think that was pretty good. All right. That's two miles an hour slower than the Arma Outcast 6S BLX. We have 54 on the Emax and 56 on the Outcast. Let's try it again, though. Here we go. Guys, I just crashed. Well, guys, I just crashed, and um, that was 57 miles an hour. But the phone is uh, scuffed up the new body, but she'll be all right. Let's try the low C DBXL running 8S. We're running two 7,000 mod Gen Zace 120C four cell packs in series. Alright guys, we got the low C DBXL brushless running the castle Mamba XLX 2028 brushless setup. And uh 
we're ready to go. I got the GPS zeroed out. Sorry about me swearing earlier. I don't usually swear on my channels, but the X I'm sorry, the Emax is really expensive. So <laughs> when I crash, sometimes it just slips out. You know how it is. All you hobby enthusiasts, when you crash an expensive vehicle, you know, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's hit it, guys. I try to keep my channel PG rated. Got the uh, GPS working again, so. Hopefully she still reads the speed. All right, ready? Three, two, one, let's do it, guys. Wow, what a machine this is. Forty-four miles an hour on this beast, and she is heavy. Forty-four is not bad, guys. That's an eighteen tooth pinion. I have a, a bigger pinion. I put in. I got fifty-seven out of it, but that was too much. It's just too heavy to be geared up high. That was at about three-quarter throttle. Let's hit it again. Let's hit it. That was almost full throttle. All right, that's forty three. We're going to try to go a little higher. I'm going to do full throttle now, guys. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go, we're all clear. Full throttle. All right guys, we beat it. I knew it had a little bit more in it. 47 miles per hour. That's good for a, you know, 48 pound vehicle. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this two-pot speed run video um, from Nezzy's RC World. Smash that thumbs up button for me, guys. Um, uh, you guys leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want me to uh, do for a video. And, uh, I'll do the best I can to execute it. Alright guys, till next time. I'll see you in the next episode of Nezzy's RC World. Bye guys.